Welcome to our first takeover show of 2017. We thought we'd mix it up a little bit this week because we feel this is a product that can go into every single engineering company. Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence are here. Mark and I are joined by Brett Green, who is the general manager. Welcome to the show, Brett. Good morning, Lindsay, and thank you for having us. Thank you. Right, okay then. So Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence are the leading provider of metrology and manufacturing solutions. Now I'm going to put you on the spot here. You've got two minutes to describe the company as a whole. I know it's only a small amount of time, but go for it. Yeah, I'll do my best. As you say, we're the leading manufacturer and provider of, uh, of a full service solution for metrology and inspection and quality assurance. Uh, globally, sales typically around a billion euros now. Uh, as you can see, we're a large organisation in the UK. We're headquartered in Telford, in Shropshire. We're about 110 people uh, in total in the business. We have four locations in the UK. Telford, which is the, the headquarters and the main demonstration facility. Uh, also in Milton Keynes, we've had a presence for many years, but we opened a new showroom there two and a half, three years ago. Uh, it's also a centre for uh, our portable products for service and calibration. We have a small uh, service centre in Chester, uh, really looking after and servicing the, the large aerospace, uh, aerospace market in that area. And then more recently, July last year, we opened a brand new subcontract facility, which is really exciting at Silverstone Park. Oh, I think we'll talk a little bit about that later. So Brett, I knew the company as Hexagon Metrology. Now you've rebranded the company. Why did you do this? Yeah, Metrology is still core to our offer. It's central to who we are. We have a, a you know, really large portfolio of products and services for, for Metrology itself. But you know, manufacturing intelligence is, is more about taking Metrology onto the next level. So it's closing the loops in the manufacturing chain. Uh, we typically provide uh, our customers with data. Uh, what we're trying to do now with manufacturing intelligence is give them data that, that they can take action on. We, we firmly believe that uh, quality drives productivity mm -hmm. and, and that's quite an important expression. And we sum that up in three ways of, of the, the term sensing, thinking and acting. So in the sensing space, it's our sensors. It's customers using one or more of our sensors that they're probably already familiar with to collect data and gather data. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the thinking space, it's about us using our software and our know-how to take that data and analyse it and present it in a certain way, present it so the customers can understand it and use it. And the, acting's, uh, the acting phase is more about uh, doing something with that data, improving processes, uh, increasing speed, improving quality, ultimately driving productivity. But how does that benefit your customers then, Brett? Well, I think it's, it's important in several ways in that um, in the past, um, some people, some customers, some, some engineers and manufacturers saw quality assurance as probably a blocker to productivity. It was the necessary evil at the end of the mm -hmm. process. However, you know, smart manufacturers these days are bringing quality assurance further and further up the manufacturing chain. Uh, people need that data quicker so they can take action on a, on a more rapid basis. They need it presentable. They don't want to have to take it away and crunch some further numbers on it. They want it in a format that they can use instantly. So it's about speed and confidence in manufacturing. Right, 2017 then, what are, what are your objectives? Uh, 2017, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this year. Um, in the UK, we've been on a significant growth phase for the last couple of years. So I'm looking for a solid performance business-wise top line this year. We have some really exciting products that we're bringing to the market. So people know us already for our coordinate measurement machines, but for example, we have uh, a new Global Evo, which is a high-speed scanning machine. It actually launched last year, but we'll be bringing uh, a lot of effort into that uh, in 2017. Uh, new Roma portable measuring arms with the new scanning technology. Uh, we made some acquisitions recently. We acquired uh, last year a company out of Germany called Icon 3D and Icon's now become part of the family. We'll be launching their range of scanners and sensors into the UK market this year. Some really interesting niche products as well. Um, we manufacture a system called Tube Inspect for the pipe and tube market which is really innovative. 
Um, more recently, we acquired a, another German company called Apodius, and they've developed some really sexy sensors for the, the carbon fiber market. So not just measuring form or shape, but also helping our customers determine uh, fiber orientation and fiber layup. So really, really interesting. You're covering the industry. Yeah. So with composites and shiny materials, it's very, very difficult to measure, Brett, isn't it? Yeah, you're absolutely right. With these non-contact and optical systems, you're relying upon a certain amount of contrast in the image. And obviously with carbon fibre, it's black on black. It's difficult to see. Uh, also with highly reflective surfaces. But our range of sensors can, can handle pretty much all situations. We have a, a particular sensor that can actually measure mirrored surfaces and, and glass things like for optics themselves. Wow. So you've mentioned before, search for absolute accuracy. Now this brings me on to Silverstone. You've just opened a new facility there. So I think we're going to go and have a look. Ros, we're at Silverstone. Now, most people would know Silverstone as the race circuit. Mm -hmm. I've raced around here in my motorbike days, but why the innovation center? Well, the land around the track, so you've got the circuit, as you say, and we had the, the Grand Prix and other really global events here. And then the land around the track is uh, owned by and being developed by MEPC. And we're a property company. We're developing a science and technology park here. And the Innovation Centre is a key part of that because we want to encourage startup companies, SMEs, high-tech companies to come and grow their business here. Now, obviously, Hexagon is, is your partner here. Why Hexagon? Well, what we wanted to do um, was put some facilities into the Innovation Centre that would be a key resource for the companies in the Silverstone Technology Cluster. And um, what we did was we thought, well, let's talk to the companies on the park already. There's 70 companies here already, precision engineer companies mainly. And we said to them, what sort of facilities do you think is need are needed? And they said, you don't need milling machines and lathes and things like that. There's loads of that. But one of the facilities that everybody needs and no one can really get their hands on are metrology facilities, uh, coordinate measuring machines. And they started to explain that a few of them here have bits of old kit and they kind of lend it to each other. But it would be so great to have a state of the art facility. And then I started thinking, well, if we could get something like that, yes, it would be good for the companies that are here already, but it would also be a key facility for the area. Well, John, thanks for the invitation to come to Hexagon. You, this is the new facility at Silverstone. Could you tell me why Silverstone? Yes, good morning. Welcome to our new facility here at Silverstone Park. Um, why? It's a very good question. Um, for Hexagon, we're a company that supplies products and services throughout the UK and the world for that matter. But Silverstone Park is slightly unique to us. Uh, this is a, a facility dedicated really to help uh, SME businesses and startup businesses. Uh, it's here to create a network to help these businesses. Um, so the main activity within this facility is subcontract inspection. And is there a pool for F1? Because I know Hexagon brand is very, very sharp with uh, the Formula One and also motorsport to help those guys. Is, is it a bit of pool for Silverstone? Yes and no, I suppose. Um, obviously, the address of this facility is, has a, a degree of kudos to it and is related heavily to the motorsport. Uh, Hexagon is uh, heavily involved. Uh, the motorsport industry is worth something like 11 billion a year. Uh, we are very involved in that industry. We have partnerships with several F1 teams. We supply the F1 teams and, and they're the different tier suppliers. But it's also uh, for any industry sector. You know, we're, we're not uh, here purely for F1 for motorsport although it's quite an important sector to us, but be it aerospace, white goods, yellow goods, educational, medical, whatever, uh, this facility can service all those business sectors. Wow. Well, Mark, you're into your riding, so how was the day? Well, it's always nice to go back to Silverstone because I, I actually stayed on the motorbike lots of times at Silverstone, so, so it's good. Whatever. But, but we believe you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this facility is fantastic because you've got so many companies that actually make little parts for, for all types of motorsport, and it's based on the track. And really, this centre, to a certain extent, is, is based on subcontracting, Brett, isn't it? Yeah, really exciting. I mean, when we first had the opportunity presented to us, there's no doubt that the Silverstone connection caught our eye. Um, you know, Hexagon's... Um, 
very prominent in the motorsports industry uh, from our long-standing technical partnership with Red Bull Racing, for example, and, and more recently on the motorbikes, we uh, signed a technical partnership with World Superbikes. So it was that connection initially that caught our eye. But what we found is that within a 50, 60 mile radius, there are thousands of really innovative, small and medium sized manufacturers. Sometimes um, you know, they don't have access to really high end quality assurance equipment because of the cost very often. So this is for the first time for Hexagon, a, a dedicated contract inspection facility. So people can go and visit? D yeah, we've created, we've created a, 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 a metrology network, so you can become a member of the Hexagon Metrology Network together with our partners MEPC, who are the site owners. Uh, you pay a membership fee, you get access to the machines, you get access to our know-how and our knowledge. It's, it's a really exciting proposition. So, so if I was a, a company on the park, I've just taken a part out the, uh, the machine tool, five-axis machine tool, let's say for Formula One, I can, I can knock on your door and say, can I measure this? Absolutely, and you know, we also have our portable products based out of Silverstone Park, so if it's something that's too large or you want to measure it while it's in process, rather than take it out, the machine, out of the machine, we can bring the metrology to your facility It's well. going to be so useful for a lot of people. Yeah, really exciting. Do you do this anywhere else in the country at any of the other facilities? Uh, typically not, no, because most of the facilities are either service centres or demo rooms mm -hmm. and subcontract inspection can be a bit of an interruption to the flow of the other offices, so mm -hmm. it's great to have a dedicated um, you know, singly focused facility for this. Do, do you manufacture in the UK anymore, Brett? Uh, only a small amount of manufacturing. Um, we, we actually produce uh, a, a really interesting instrument called a gauge block interferometer, which sounds very posh. It's a, a laser-based interferometer. And for those that are interested in, in measurement, this, this thing measures down to sub-nanometer types of levels. It's for all the, uh, the, the, the world's national institutes for setting length. Um, really interesting product. Wow, okay. <laughs> don't I can't even it, Don't fathom. ask me how it works, no. but it's, it's, it's uh, light band widths and all this clever so, stuff. So people like NPL, for instance? They, they NPL would... and NIST in the US, and you know, one of the most recent machines we sold was to Abu Dhabi. So there's, there's only a handful of machines around the world. They're quite unique, but, uh, but a, a super accurate machine. Looking at your website, Brett, globally you have a new exhibition and show happening on a weekly basis. Plus, you've got Silverstone, Milton Keynes, Chester, and uh, Telford. W where can we be seeing you in 2017? Yeah, absolutely right, Lindsay. The two main sort of demo room facilities are at Telford and Milton Keynes. They're packed full of our technologies. It's a great place to come. But what you'll see new for this year is what we're calling HXGN local events. So this is taking Hexagon out into the marketplace, out into the country. We'll have, we've got in plan, I think, at the moment, around about six to eight of these events. Uh, different parts of the UK will obviously announce those through MTD. Um, the focus for these will typically be uh, scanning days. So we'll be looking to educate and demonstrate engineers and customers and potential customers out there on what our technologies can provide. Do, do you still think that in, in a lot of companies, uh, OEMs as well as smaller subcontracting companies, do they actually sort of see metrology um, where they've really got to start expanding, spending some money. Do you, do you see that there's a change in the market? I do, very much. I think the UK, um, and this is sponsored by the central government, manufacturing is predicated on this so-called high-value manufacturing, and high-value automatically sort of implies high quality. So high quality needs lots of metrology and, and manufacturing solutions. So I think the, I think the opportunities for Hexagon to, to help itself and help the industry is, 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 is huge, it's phenomenal. Because we walk into some subcontracting companies sometimes and they've got a lovely five axis machine tool, hundreds of thousand pounds, but when you look at their measuring devices, it's non-existent. Yeah, and I think, I think the pull is also coming from the OEMs. Uh, you know, we take it for granted, taking automotive is a great example, we take it for granted that our car uh, will need a service every 15 or 25,000 miles now. It's just accepted. We take it for granted that things work. But without metrology embedded all the way through that manufacturing process, you won't be able to take it for granted. So I think the pull comes from the consumer in the first instance, then it comes from the OEM and the supply chain are waking up. Some of them are leading, but the majority are, are, are sort of being, not dragged, that's unfair, but have been called upon 
to invest in metrology to make sure that what they're supplying up the chain is also suitable yeah. and, 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 and fits the quality assurance that's required. World Superbikes, are you still sponsoring for 2017? We are, Mark. You know that I'm a big fan of motorbike racing as well. So, yeah, absolutely, we're on board with that. Bear in mind I've still got my ACU licence. Is there <laughs> any chance that I could get on, on the bike at Silverstone? Only if I get to go first. <laughs> Okay, fair I'm not going to ask you that question, don't <laughs> worry. Um, now, uh, acquisitions that you've made, is it the Vero software? Was this made a couple of years ago? Yeah, almost two years ago we acquired Vero. Um, many of your viewers will know some of the Vero brands, Edgecam, Vizzy, Raydan, etc. Um, it's important to bring that into the conversation, actually. It's a good question, Lindsay, because that's a great example of this manufacturing intelligence and closing the loop. So, majority of people will know Hexagon for being, let's say, the other side of the machine tool, so measuring after the mm. thing's been machined. Vero, of course, takes us this side of the machine tool, so it's a complete end-to-end -end process that's now partially owned and driven by Hexagon. And one thing I'd like to say, with this video playing in the background, I, I visited the Neelan Engineering in Southern Ireland. Now, th these guys have not just got Hexagon CMM, but they, they've also got um, Visi and also uh, Edgecam. And they work at the station. So in other words, while they're cutting on the machine tool, you've actually, they, they've got the software there helping them to do what they need to do. But how, how, what's the collaboration? How does it work? Well, it's back to the sensing, thinking and acting again. So Vero or the Vero brand sit in the thinking space. But the next stage of that is the acting phase. So what we're working on now is, is I guess, more clever software and clever, clever algorithms to take that data that our sensors have found, that Vero have analysed, and feed that back into the start of the process to, to drive productivity. Mm -hmm. Now... A question for you because I know you've got so many products and we can't talk about so many products all in one show but is there anything you feel that once you've seen a customer or your sales guys are speaking to customers that you feel an engineer is often asking a question to you that you think right okay from this show they'd want to know the answer of it, it keeps on coming up time yeah, and time again. Yeah it's a difficult question Lindsay we cover so many application mm. areas that I, I don't think there is one question that suits all but what I urge your viewers to do and our customers to do is to get in contact with us as I say we are a full service provider we're very interested in providing a consultative approach to our sales and to our customers so you know come and engage with us we'll take a look at what the customer's problem is what solution we think uh, is most appropriate and we'll help guide them through which of our technologies we also believe is most appropriate to solve their problem. Because one thing I've found is, is that a, a lot of smaller subcontractors, they find it very difficult to engage with global players like yourself. Should they be afraid to knock on your door? No, absolutely not at all. I think you know, we, we're actually geared up. Um, one of the key words for me in my business is about being responsive. And responsiveness means different things to different people. But I don't, I don't really care who you are or what size or shape you are. You know, reach out to us. We're there to support you. Thank you so much for joining us today, Brett. Thank you both. To get in contact with Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence, the details are across the bottom of the screen. If you want to watch any previous episodes, click on the links just here. And keep those comments coming in, we love them. Thank you very much, we've got a great show next week, and keep those spindles turning.